my gosh, what did we just hook? Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Just rode my quiet cat bike a couple miles down this uh, Jersey Beach here, and uh, we're gonna try to uh, see if we can get on a bite of uh, some striped bass or bluefish uh, in the surf today. I'm gonna start out with uh, this SNS Fishaholic Squid Bucktail, and uh, if you want to check them out and help support the channel, just uh, click the link in the description and uh, pick some up from my site. I'm going to start off with uh, this one ounce and see if we can, you know, get a few bites on it and then I'm just going to go from there. The outgoing tide just started, so we're here at a perfect time. And uh, it's about 7.30 a.m. I uh, wanted to get down here a little bit earlier, but uh, it just didn't happen. So uh, we're here now and uh, I'll probably fish till like the late morning hours here. And uh, if we don't get anything, I might go to another spot. But uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to find, you know, some feeding fish along this stretch of beach. Oh, just had a bite there. Oh, another bite. Wow, this is not cool. Catching garbage. I want to put on a heavier bucktail. And you know what, I'll try a different color as well. There's two other guys here throwing white bucktails, not catching anything either. So maybe if we try a different color, this could be the hot ticket. There's a fish on the green bucktail. Hell yeah. It's not big, but it's something. I 
Just a little cocktail blue. This would be a good eating one if I was gonna bring one home for the table. If you've, if you've never had them, bluefish, fish cakes, oh, they're so good. There's another one. This one feels a little bit bigger. Oh, heck yeah. Found ourselves a striper. Pretty sweet. It's not a giant, but we're uh, getting our target species for today. There's another one. Much better fish here, I think. Hard to tell though, because he's in that current, <laughs> using it to help him pull a little harder. Might be another striper too. go another little schoolie they're loving the green today and I think it also helped that I put on a, a slightly heavier bucktail to get down in the current a little bit better There's another one. Woo! This fish definitely feels a little bit bigger than what we've been catching. Maybe bigger by like an inch, inch or two. No, no um, well, <laughs> he actually looks smaller. <laughs> That's funny. Woo! There's another one. Hard to tell how big he is. These little fish get their head in that current, man, and they just know how to use it to pull hard. about the same size all right let's keep it going and uh, I'm really enjoying this little bite that I'm on right now and uh, it's really cool to see uh, how much color makes the difference because the two other guys that are here they're still throwing white bucktails and all they're catching are cocktail blues and we got one as well but 
we're mostly catching stripers now. And uh, for whatever reason, day to day, sometimes uh, stripers can be color selective. And uh, you know, if white isn't working, I love to have green or yellow on me. And uh, I also have pink on me as well. So uh, I have four different colors of the SNS Fishaholic Squid Bucktails, green, white, yellow, and pink. So uh, definitely, again, check them out if uh, you're interested, and it would mean the world to me because uh, it helps uh, support the channel. Oh my gosh, what did we just hook? Big fish here. This has got to be a bigger fish. Oh, please be a bass, man. That's what I'm talking about. This one ripped out a ton of line right after it first hit. This might be a slot sized bass here. Oh yeah, it's a nice striper. It's gotta be over 30 inches. Probably like 34, 35 maybe. And she's smart. She knows how to use the current to her advantage. Oh, look at that butterball. That is what I'm talking about. That is a fatty right there. That is a chunk of a fish. I bet you this 35, maybe 36 inch fish is probably like 15 or 17 pounds because of this fat belly. And uh, got her on the, the SNS Fishaholic Squid Green Bucktail. So sweet. I'm just gonna snap a quick pick and then uh, unhook her and set her home, send her on home. All right, well, my day is made right there after catching that fish. Huge shout out to Scott right there, who's a fan of the channel, and uh, he snapped a picture of me. And uh, the release, I didn't really capture great. I, it was The camera was on time lapse for whatever reason, but uh, Scott now has uh, on a good striper as well. So kind of interested to see what he pulls in. Uh, we must have some you know nicer fish cruising by right now. And uh, yeah, it looks like you've got a nice slot sized bass too. Heck yeah. Nice. Nice bass right there. Sweet. All right, let's get back out there ourselves, see if we can get some more. You want a picture? Yeah. All right, yeah, if you got your phone, no problem. All right, let's get back out there. And, uh, you know, it's not a coincidence that uh, I got my larger fish and then Scott, who's fishing next to me, got uh, his like two, three minutes after. So we must have some larger fish moving through the rip now. And uh, it's a little after nine, so we're getting to the second half of the outgoing. So uh, I'm definitely gonna make a mental note of this time and tide. And uh, it'll be good knowledge to have for next year or in 10 years. You know, if I come back to this spot with uh, you know the similar conditions that we have, uh, I might be able to duplicate this bite. So it's good to keep track of uh, tides and time of when you're getting on bites because it'll help you in the long run. All right, well, unfortunately, it's been about 30 minutes now and uh, only a couple other little bites that uh, I didn't hook up on. 
So this bite is completely shut off, just like uh, the flip of a switch. So I'm gonna try cutting off this uh, green bucktail. All right, now let's try the good old reliable, the five inch Fishaholic Finback Shad in olive over white and silver flake. If there's any fish at all left here, this should at least get us a bite. There's one on the fishaholic shed. Oh, it looks like a blue fish. A fish is a fish, and uh, it seems like maybe the stripers have just moved on or quit biting. All right, I'm gonna put uh, our bigger stick down and uh, try just picking up our light inshore seven foot six fishaholic dark matter series spinning rod with the 4000 Iowa Sir Tate. And I got a little salt strong slam shady jerk shad on. And uh, I'm just gonna put some of this Dr. Juice on it to give it some flavor. So I rub that in, and I'm gonna go see if we can catch a fluke before we head out of here. There he is. That feels like a fluke. Oh yeah. We got ourselves a flatty. There's something decent. Oh my gosh, this is definitely not a fluke. Woo, what do we got here? I think it just found a striper. Staying down deep. So it's probably not a bluefish. Oh yeah. Oh, this fish doesn't want to give up and I can just barely see him right here on the edge of the drop off. Oh yeah, we got a nice striper on the light tackle. That's what I'm talking about.
There we go. Sweet, that's about a 30 inch fish. Heck yeah. Hook is out. All right, well, I think we're gonna wrap things up after that catch and uh, I'm picking up some bottles cause uh, this beach is just littered with so much plastic and trash. It's almost like sickening, but uh, check out this wine bottle that I picked up uh, and there's actually a note inside of it, which is kind of crazy. And it says, I wish you would have bought for me now as hard as you did when you wanted me back. I love you, uh, good pie, which is kind of chilling. So I'm not really sure what to do with that. But uh, all in all, uh, today was a, a great outing and uh, it's a little after 12 o'clock now and uh, the tide is uh, starting to come in. Uh, but uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you can help support the channel again by checking out the SNS Fishaholic Squid uh, Bucktails. Uh, again, the link is in the description. And uh, if you wanna check out uh, the Slam Shady Jerk Shads or the Dr. Juice from Salt Strong, the links are all down below and all my tackling equipment is down below. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and wanna make my day, uh, please smash that like button to uh, help out with the uh, YouTube algorithm and uh, also smash that subscribe button to uh, stay tuned for more episodes. And uh, I think I'm gonna be up here in the Northeast for like one or two more days, and then we're gonna start our journey back down south, and I'm gonna fish along the coast uh, back to Florida. So uh, you gotta stay tuned for that. And uh, anyway, until the next video, live to fish, fish to live. All right, well I'm back uh, because uh, I was just riding back to uh, the parking lot, to uh, the truck, and uh, check this out. There's a mask that got caught in the chain of my bike. Like, the beach is just disgusting. So if you're going out fishing anywhere, like anywhere, just uh, you know, bring a, a bin with you or a bag. Uh, and I think we all together need to just pick up as much trash as we can and uh, you know, try to help clean our beaches. And uh, now I gotta try and see if I can get that mask out of the chain. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.